Hey guys, we're going to do, um, I don't, I don't know, man. I'm, I, th- I don't know what I'm going to title this, but I mean, y'all are, I already see the title, but what if, I'm going to say what if Deku's black? I think, I think, cause like I've seen people wanted that and like, I couldn't even think of a way where I could make that like feasible, you know, until just now. So I thought about it last night, actually, of on, on, on a pawn of recording and uploading the video. So, um, I'm most likely going to have some gameplay going in the background. So we got two options. Y'all can watch the gameplay in the background, or you can listen to it like it's a podcast. The choice is yours. And I'm just going to see how people feel about it. Um, I don't know what game I decided to do, but enough with that gibber jabberish. Let's talk about something. All right. So this one is going to start off a little different because we're going to have it to where Deku, he's not even in the main story, really, bro. He's somewhere else. He grows up somewhere completely different. His whole story is different. So with the best of knowledge and the best of my creative liberty, here we go. You might be wondering, how, why, someone for me, someone like me, someone that came from the slums, came from the worst place on this planet, even the world maybe, every day struggle just to survive. (laughs) You really might be wondering how I became a hero And there's just not any other type of hero. The number one hero. Well. (laughs) Let me tell you. How this story played out. Many, 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 many years later. Running, running. A boy runs through a dark alley like water splashing everywhere. Him. Huffing and puffing, not able to get a full range of the age, but it appears to be what six, six or seven running through. All you hear is plow, plow. The only thing illuminating the area was the flash from the guns being shot. One, the, the figure that's running, all you see is plow, plow. Then he's running more and more, but then immediately sees retaliation for what we can presume is the pursuers. <laughs> And then one says, with the deep muscle, with a deep mask voice, stand back. I got this. <laughs> you hear a pin on a grenade. The figure that is the shadow figure of the kid that's running says, ah, shit. Here we go with this again. <laughs> and it appears he starts to climb up on the side of a building, reminiscing of like an Oh, okay, a building with a balcony or something. Something to climb up on, man. Back back into character. He's climbing, he's climbing. All you hear is boosh. Big explosions going off. But thank God these buildings are abandoned. As the kid scurries up, he finally makes it on top of the building, thinking he's safe, but he realizes there's no way down. The only other way down is either going back the way he came or going down the stairs. <sighs> Going back down the way he came is obviously not an option. Going down the stairs is not an option because they split up in groups and they're still bleaking while it's pitch darkness. Him not knowing what to do, him struggling, thinking, trying to scheme his way out. And he's like, fuck it. All right. It's been a while since I had to use this power, but I'll give it a try. I don't think this will work, but it's all or nothing. I've survived worse. Given that this kid is presumptuously only six or seven, the fact that he's stating something like this is very interesting. But he goes from the very, very furthest point of the building all the way to the closest part to the edge, both on opposite sides of where he came from and the entrance. If you were walking upstairs normally and not doing some god tier parkour, he's running, he's running, he jumps and he says, Ghetto. <laughs> And then immediately, as he's falling, he just, all you hear is, bullets are being shot everywhere, through everywhere. So, as he's falling, he's basically trying to use bullets as propellants. 
to shoot him forward or not shoot him forward, but keep him in air long enough. He was able to get a good distance. Maybe we could say maybe a mile or two, but oh, did that sap out of his energy supply? Apparently he falls down, hitting the ground harder than a fat bitch that sat down too fast. <clears throat> As he's crumbling down to the ground, stumbling, not knowing what to do, feeling some type of way. He gets back up and says, OK, all right, I'm good. I'm good. We're great. And he starts hauling ass, but he realizes his left shoulder is not looking too good as he's barely making it to where he needs to be. He knocks on the door and hits the code. All you hear is knock, 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 knock. He gets in, <clears throat> stumbling off balance. <sighs> he's like, what happened? The, the, the uh, <clears throat> blood coming out and everything. <clears throat> mm. Mm. And the boy that we can all presume and know, Deku speaks. <coughs> <coughs> fuck, fuck, dog. Fuck, ah. Uh, no, nah, they turned on us, dog, Deku says. They, they, they turned on us, and, and they almost rolled me up in one, dog. I'm not going to even hold you, man. I barely was able to escape. <sighs> If it was literally anyone else, they probably would have been caught a long time ago. Ugh. Ugh. Where's the boss at? Ugh. Sick of this shit, man. Uh, when is DK going to get here? Huh? He's always talking about how he's always out on these business trips. and How he's planning for something that's upcoming. Like, whatever the hell that means. How much planning does one man need to do? In fact, he's acting like there's going to be some multiverse tournament or something. <sighs> but why am I even saying those words? Y'all don't even know what I mean. Never mind. As Deku stumbles to get up, everyone around him, different folks coming around him like, hey, yo, 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 be careful, be careful, man. Chill. Just just take a breathe. Man, get off me, dog. Where's somebody out with the healing? Damn. Um... They don't call quirks quirks. They call it boost or I, I, I don't know. Y'all can tell me. I'm going to probably just make something up for this first part. But what do y'all think they should call quirks? Because if we, it basically they're like in da not Dallas, Wallace. That's what I'm calling it. You know, um, Zill Chicago. It was going to be what? Zongo. No. Zongo. And shit just because I wanted to because I could because I can. And plus, people kept asking for something like this, if not something close. Um. Anyways, so they don't even call quirks quirks. We're going to say they call it something else. All right. So keep that in mind, too, because I might. I don't know. They're just going to say powers or something. <sighs> anyways, so after um uh, one of these females come through, she's like, here you go. He was, he's like, appreciate it, G. Or shoddy, or however you want to say it. He's like, I appreciate it. Deku rips off all his clothes or whatever. Everyone's like, damn, kid, be modest. He said, be modest. What the? Oh, you talking about you want me to be <laughs> him saying, you want me to be Deku saying this. There we go. You want me to be modest, worrying about me being naked. I have to worry about niggas killing me, trying to fuck up my cells on my drugs and all of this stuff. So me worrying about my naked body is the last concern. I had to stop. I I haven't been a kid in seven years. <laughs> no, I haven't been a kid in three years, and he's like seven. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I use that as a point of reference. Deku puts on his puts on a new fit. He's like, so, all right, all right. I gotta give DK some credit. At least these fits be durable, flexible. Deku starts going up for high kicks, <laughs> side kicks, <laughs> left hooks. <laughs> Right hook. Yeah. Okay. I fuck with it. I fuck with it heavy. Okay. Okay. I like it. So, you know, your boy Deku's like, yeah, yeah, I'm in it. I'm doing it. So he does that, right? And now he, um, he's like, all right, hey, let's have, go ahead and get ready for the next mission. It's like, wait, didn't you just come back from one? I was like, yeah, yeah, I just came back from one. But I'm all healed up now. We're not going to leave out, obviously. I need to catch a couple of Zs real quick before we head out. But everybody, get your blickies ready. Get the straps. We're going in deep. And hey, yo, boy. Mm, did we, call, we call this nigga Boom. Boom. 
he's got he's got a little scruffy ish look, you know. He he's got a scruffy young look to him. He's like the youngin of the group. He's like, hey yo G. <laughs> hey, go ahead and get those RPGs and stuff ready. Cause we're gonna have to ride in deep. Like <laughs> it's about to be a full out war over where we're about to go. Hey yo, baby girl. You might want to get some of your blood or whatever you do, because I don't know. Basically, she's able to make any part of her body's healing. No pun intended. So she's like, he's like, I don't know what you got to do or what's feasible. Spit, saliva, blood. I don't know. Don't really care. Get some stuff. We're going to need a lot of healing where we're going to go. We call her Jenny. Why? Just because it's funny. Jenny. Anyways, Jenny, she's got a... Um light blonde or no no dirty brown look with the unique eyes and her nails are always painted immaculate even when she's in a fight never question it but she is technically the healer of the group if we had to give her a name so yeah we got two other broke blokes one dude over there he specializes in hand-to-hand -hand combat He's got a pretty solid physique overall, but he never really shows his face. But his face is none too impressive. If this was an anime or something, you could just say he's a side character. Uh, at least his face is. But his ability is unique. He's able to multiply his punches and attacks. So basically, let's say he punched you, right? He's able to triple the punch, thus punching you three times with one successful punch. But if he does it too many times or the punch number is too high, he could have bad recoil on his hand or whatever body part he decided to do this for. That's, um, you know, part one of his said quirk. And he's also able to times his punch to make it even harder, which, you know, he act, most of these all have activations. So if he does an activation with it, he's able to um, reduce the cooldown by a dramatic, by a dramatic effect. But if he doesn't do it, he'll be able to hit you faster, but it won't, it will, it will have a bad uh, strain on him. Sorry about that little stumpering there. Then we got the other dude. You could say he's the samurai of the group or the weaponsman. He can make weapons out of, if not anything, almost anything. Swords and all sorts of stuff. And now the boss, man, we don't know where he went, but we don't know what his power is. All we know is... If he wanted to, he could end this all. But for whatever reason, he's saying things must play out a certain way before he can play his hand. So whatever that means. So let's go. And everybody's riding in. After, you know, a couple, we could just say 12-ish hours pass by. Daytime about to pull up. Or it's a little, a little, bit, in, a little bit in the middle of the day. Just a little bit before the hand. All right. Everybody riding in deep. They're about doing their thing. They're like, all right, let's go. So they all just hauling ass. They get, mm, driving and shit. Just, mm, mm. They're like, damn it, Deku. Please, please calm down with the driving. He's like, nah, dog. We got to get here before it's too late. <laughs> Cops help. Hey, yo. Pass me a couple of those RPGs you got there. Okay. So, with Deco's quirk, which it has multiple um, attributes, but one of them is he's able to take weapons within a certain category and shrink them down. It make them basically um, pocket-sized so he can pull them out at any time. It's like, perfect. Hm. They're not going to stop us this time. Go. <laughs> All of them go out. Now, don't think just because Jenny um, has a little bit of healing that she don't know how to throw hands. She knows how to throw hands, you know how to use a gun, and... She's able to reverse healing, but it takes a little bit of strain on her. Now let's go. Everybody rides in deep. They're going in. All right, I'm not going to hold you, bro. I'm going to say the two blokes. <laughs> hold up, let me see. All right, so they go in deep. Do with the hand-to-hand -hand combat. He, <laughs> he's just popping people. <laughs> he just hitting them with the excellent supreme boxing. Uh, Jenny, she comes through with the swiftness and just click, cracks, cracks. She just they, they just going in, murdering, boom, boom, boom. Do with samurai flow. He, whoo, whoo. excellent. They're all gone. They're doing good. They're doing good. Everything's good. They're like, yeah, we in this bitch. 
And they all basically mowed down this big operation. Well, basically, the end goal of what they were trying to do was simple. They needed to take out one of these big head honchos, the Drip Lord, off on the streets and had to get rid of him, okay? Um, he's been doing things in, as he, as the Drip Lord himself likes to say, he does what he wants when he wants. If you don't have Drip, you don't understand. While his cock is out. To this day, we don't understand why he always has a chicken with him. But he does. No matter. So, with this being said, they thought if they hit him hard, where most of his drip um, factor, drip factory is located in place that they thought they could slow him down. But the problem was, they were wrong. They were very wrong. The drip lord himself decided to pay them a visit. As he walks in, dreads, as long as the waist, skinny, but yet have a m big presence. He's adjusting his suit with the diamonds all in them. Not diamonds, we can't, no, diamonds. With its golden lacing. And he looks to them, well, almost appearing to be floating. So, <clears throat> what do y'all think y'all are doing? Everyone's like, wait, what? They realize, who are you? The dude that specializes in hand-to-hand? -hand? <laughs> All right, bet. <laughs> He's been sitting there cocking his arm back the whole time they got done. And it's been like a good 20 minutes while they're destroying stuff. So he's going to have a good punch. He's like, yeah. Or it doesn't have to be a good punch. It just has to be, he has to pre-prepare for the move. So tapping, um, holding his arm back, you know, something like that doesn't matter. Right? And so he's like, oh, this dude's going to be a breeze. He uses all his momentum. Pooh! Bounces off for it. <laughs> Gets immediately behind him. And he's like, <laughs> wait, what? And then immediately his fist went through DP. No, not DP. Uh, the DL. He, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> so he starts unleashing a fury of blows as the drip master, as the drip master just walks forward. Looks at him. So I guess it's guess y'all are the individuals that um <laughs> messed up my little project here <laughs> and they all scaredly said yes what about it Deku ready to use his quirk but before he could all he could see was red and blood everywhere he thought he was dead but he realized something it wasn't his it was the dude that was trying to attack him with the one finger he was knocked down to the ground, but not even that. He was practically atomized, just looking down. Those that don't have drip will get dripped by the drip. <laughs> now, with a mass amount of presence and fear, they didn't know what to do. They were terrified. They were like, no, this, 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 no, 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 no. And as they're walking forward and walking closer, I mean, as the Drip Lord himself is walking closer, before they could even bat an eye, whew, Jenny was ripped in two. <laughs> Thank you. Get out. With Deku, rage, fear, emotions, all of these emotions, he, he doesn't know how to comprehend. But then... The samurai wannabe put on his best fit because he's able to uh, make the weapons. But since armor is also classified as a weapon. Yeah. So he puts on his strongest fit. And the drip lord raises a brow. Getting his golden, golden uh, spiral dreads out of his eye. Huh. Well, then it looks like you got. Oh, you got a fine amount of drip. Not as much as me, of course, but you got some in there. <laughs> wow. Okay. Before anyone can do anything, Drip Lord flicks him away. <laughs> sending him into a nearby wall in capacity. I'll save him for later. He might be able to understand the drip. Even though most people don't, you never know. He looks at Deku. So what do you want to do, boy? Deku backs up, 
Stop. Pulls out his blickies. <clears throat> he's all you hear is ghetto. Dual machine gun. <clears throat> and just starts shooting. And he's like, the drip master starts weaving. <whistles> now I can see why you've been able to survive all the way up until this point. I can see why you've been able to survive all the way up until this point. Bullets are flying everywhere. Deku's like, I'm going to kill you, you bastard. Deku starts running, start parkouring off on the uh, damage factory, throwing out grenades. I'm going to block. I'm going to annihilate you and your pathetic drip. He's like, whoa, now. Boom. Smacks him back down to the ground. Don't assault the drip. As Deku's back, in, as Deku is bouncing back up with blood coming out of almost every pore, he immediately gets punched in his soul. But we can also say he got punched in the stomach too. And immediately gets sent flying one way, and he Deku. <laughs> Knowing his elo has been taken in this given moment, the drip lord looks at him, and says, "You want some more?" And he's like. Deku gets up. <sighs> okay. He gets up, pulls out his OG pistol. <sighs> Dual Glock style. Drip or? Oh, you know that shit too? <clears throat> but before that, get, get arted out. <clears throat> Deku starts throwing the meanest hands with two pistols in his hand at the same time. If any of y'all know, it's almost like um, akin to how um, Killer B fights, but this time Deku's doing it with two Glock. He bow, 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 bow. But just so you know, these bullets do damage, but they're not. They're about a fraction of the damage um, a normal gun do due to the simple fact is Deku thus just made the gun, and on top of that, he's been damaged very bad. So he's going in. <laughs> He's also able to briefly put them together just to do extra damage and control it better. So he's like, he jumps up, going for punches and kicks and punches and kicks and punches and kicks. He's like, cute, but no, not good enough, Sonny. It immediately just starts getting milli rocks left and right. Doom, doom. Just getting a uh, beat. And like, we got to keep in mind, this dude's seven. And like, the Drip Lord, we don't know how old he is, but like, he looks kind of older. And he's just whopping on this kid with no remorse. He, I know, buddy. <clears throat> he slams this dude into the ground, picks him up by the noggin. Look, dog, I understand, bro. Like, being dripless and stuff like I don't really understand it because like when I came out the home I was already dripped out to like the maximum capacity but like I I, I do understand or what's the what's the word you dripless peasants be using um sympathize um with y'all y'all don't really understand what it's like on this other side he's like <laughs> Deku replies if you got so much drip <gasps> Why are you still here? Hey. Well, one, you don't question the drip. But since you are dripless, I'll have to spare you just for the time being. And let me elaborate here. I'm able to make easy money here, bucko. And this is just one of the sections. There are three other big head honchos we got to contend with. Okay? So, like, yeah. Thank God that nigga DK is out of the way, because if he wanted to, he could easily kill us all. I mean, not me, of course. <coughs> Sweat protruding off the Drip Lord's face, even though it's golden crested. Oh, uh, not me, of course, but I mean, the other three, he'd probably be able to take out, you know, easy. He's like, there are other people as strong as you. To be a hundred, there's probably two of them that are stronger than me, and but they're not nearly as dripped out. What does it even mean? Ah, 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 dripless peasants don't get to ask questions. So, you want to join me and become part of my drip, 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 drippity army? Or do you want to die? Fuck. You fuck your drip and fuck your fucking diamond. <clears throat> Kicks his hand off with everything he got. <clears throat> Gets in a weird, like, he's he's prone, but in midair. He pulls out a sniper, with the, like, basically instantaneously, and then shoots him. Boom. 
he was get hit straight in his like forehead, but he already had a diamond in his forehead, so like it, it took some of the took some of the blunt of the force. He's like, ah, oh, that hurt, buddy. Deku immediately starts going in for like a low key cool combo. He hits this dude, makes his knee buckle, jumps up off of on his knee, and then starts doing combos. He and then as the drip lord's like, all right, that's enough now. <clears throat> Deku grabs this dude by a weird ankle, pulls out the RPGs his homie left him, and said, die. And just, like, hits him across the face as hard as he can. Basically, like, slashing him right on the, um, like, the front part, like, where your nose is at almost. Just slashing. And the second the explosion got, Deku used all the last bit of his muscles and strength to, like, blast himself as far as away he can. And then, boof. Big explosion. Pretty much blew up the whole thing. And they were pretty high up. So Deku's just falling like we... And Deku's in there bleeding. Just blood everywhere. Meanwhile, a tall figure appears. Looking down at this nigga. Like, yo, yo. Kid, are you dead? And that's where we're going to end this video off here today. If y'all like this uh, format, please let me know. If y'all like this, what if, please let me know. I'll catch y'all later.